Focused Ultrasonicator is the compact parallel sample processing platform powered by Covaris Adaptive Focused Acoustics. The ML230 Focused Ultrasonicator enables parallel processing of up to eight samples simultaneously. This powerful and easy to use system has many unique features and benefits, including an easy to clean built-in touchscreen control panel, a USB connection port that allows users to import and export methods, rack definitions, history files, and more. A safety cover to fully enclose and protect the sample handling system. An accessory drawer for quick access and organized storage of tools and accessories. Leveling feet to keep the system level on the bench top with ease. Onboard automated reservoir and drain system for simplified maintenance. Before the supply and waste tanks are connected, check to see that the particle filter is already installed. If not, please refer to the ML230 user manual for instructions on how to self-install. Locate the two plastic bottles and the bottle cap tool in the accessory drawer. Remove the vented cap on the supply bottle using the cap wrench and fill the bottle with AFA grade water. Replace the cap using the cap wrench. Do not over tighten the cap. The caps for waste and supply are not interchangeable. Slide the waste bottle into the left side opening under the fitting marked W and slide the supply bottle, now filled with water, into the remaining opening on the right side under the fitting marked S. Press the fittings on both bottles until they click into place. Locate the sample tray assembly in the accessory box. Lift the safety cover to open. Slide the sample tray assembly locating pinholes onto the pins of the motion system behind the safety cover. Thread the sample tray assembly's thumb screw into the motion system and snug it finger tight. Place the leveling fixture in the sample tray. Begin with all four feet turned counterclockwise and close to the base plate. Adjust the feet by turning left and right to shorten and lengthen the feet as needed until level. The bubble will be in the center of the fixture sight glass. The feet can be adjusted by hand. No tool is required. Turn on the ML230 using the power switch located about halfway up the left side of the rear panel. The instrument light is located above the acoustic assembly and is inside of the safety cover. By default, the light will be lit once the instrument is turned on. Sonolab will automatically open and a window will appear asking whether the instrument is to be homed. Touch yes to confirm there are no items on the sample arm. The motion system will perform its initialization sequence, the homing window will close, and the Sonolab home screen will be displayed. To prepare for your first acoustic treatment run, the ML230 motion system must be initialized. The ML230 motion system normally initializes when Sonolab starts, unless the user purposely skipped this step, in which case the motion system can be homed from the motion control pane. To perform a run, there must be an acoustic method selected in the method box. To select and load an acoustic method, touch the method bar to display the method select pane. Scroll through the list to find the method you need. There are protocols pre-installed in the Sonolab software. Once a method has been selected, the proper rack and consumables must be in place on the ML230 sample tray.
The AFA tube TPX strip, as an example, is fitted to its rack as a unit. Open the hinged rack and insert the 8 AFA tube TPX strip. The rack is keyed so that the strip only fits in one orientation. Close the hinged rack cover to secure the strip. The cover is held in place with magnets. Open the ML230 safety cover and place the tubes and rack assembly into the sample tray. Close the safety cover to ensure that the door status in Sonolab turns to a green check. When the run button is green, the selected method may be started. Touch the run button to start. The green run button becomes a yellow pause button and the abort button turns red. The ML230 water control automatically fills the bath to the appropriate level for the tube specified in the method when the run button is touched to start a method. The ML230 system automatically adjusts the water temperature to match the method temperature set point after run is selected. The water temperature status will turn green when the temperature is within the min and max limits. The safety cover must be closed. The instrument will not run if the safety cover is not closed. There is a timer that counts the degas down. As the method runs, the process and treatment bars turn yellow, and the actual average incident power and temperature data are displayed. The user can touch pause to pause a running method at any time during the run. If a method has been paused, the user may continue the process by touching the resume button or terminate the process by touching the abort button. When the method has finished, the message method ended is displayed. Touch OK, then touch the motion control button followed by the load button from the motion menu to raise the sample tray out of the water bath. When the sample tray stops moving, raise the safety cover and remove the treated sample rack. If your instrument will be idle for an extended time, such as overnight, you should make sure to shut down the instrument. You can also use the scheduling feature in Sonolab to have the system automatically drain the water bath and shut down on specific days of the week. To properly shut down the ML230, exit the Sonolab program. This will also prompt you to empty the water bath. Press Drain Bath and exit Sonolab. This will prompt a message letting you know the bath is draining. Once the bath has finished draining, a new window will appear and you can select the option to exit Sonolab and power off computer. Once the operating system has been shut down, users can turn off the ML230 by moving the power switch to the off position.